Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty here with another yarn thrift store adventure for you. Uh, this is Karen's Simply Soft Shadows. I had one skein of this that I don't know where I got it from and it made the most gorgeous hat. I was so happy to see this there. So I did have to ask up front if there is not a, I'm at Salvation Army by the way, if there's not a price tag on it, it is 99 cents. I was very mystified when I was looking through this because I didn't go ask her till after. Um, here's some Bernat Softy Baby. See, this one says one ninety nine. I don't know what the number three on it means. Here's some Impeccable from Loops and Threads. I guess that's ninety nine cents. Some of the stuff that's ninety nine cents really isn't. Okay, this is a really, really, really jacked up Softy Baby. <laughs> Really, really, really. Oh, there's another one. Matching skein of that shadows. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group, where I post about all my deals, steals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. This was some old Red Hot Super Saver. It was so scratchy. Um, I also really did like that none of these were in bags, so I could feel what they felt like, which was definitely a positive. And there's a whole bunch of homespun or homespun-esque yarn that didn't have any labels. I'm not a fan of this. Hope somebody else enjoys this thoroughly. <laughs> but there was a pretty good yarn selection here. I'm at a Salvation Army I don't typically go to. It's about um, half an hour from my house. Okay. Patton's Brilliant. I have had this in gold before. Pardon my cats. It is very sparkly. And then there was some random granny squares in there. Not attached to any yarn, so I don't know what that was made out of. There you go. A couple granny squares. They were soft. See all this yarn down here? It's all Patton's brilliance. I guess this would be the one exception where I'd want it in a bag altogether because it probably would be cheaper than 99 cents a ball. So at in uh, Patton's brilliance is chain chainette style. Um, it's very light. It's a three weight. It's got a pretty good shine on it. This has seen better days. Woof. And yes, I did put everything back where it came from, so don't come at me. Also, when you first walk in at the Salvation Army, make sure you check which color tag is on sale. Today was yellow. No luck here in the yarn department, but that's okay. Fun fur, yay not. The bottom of this basket was kind of a hot mess. But there was lavender and off-white and cranberry, black, copper gold I think that might have been all the colors that was pretty kind of wish there was more than one of that copper really like that color mm. pinky lavender and that's it for that basket moving on okay these were also hella scratchy red heart super saver in a green color. This one was much softer. Red Heart Super Saver in shocking pink. That was awful. Now, here's the funny part. So see this, like, all these fur yarns that don't have labels, and there's some small scrap balls down here, too. I This is not this. Oh, there's one of them. Those are all 99 cents. Yeah, I was shocked at that, too. Hello. Score. Bernat Handicrafter Cotton. Ooh, and some nice candy colors. Uh, $2.99. Yes, please. Those are huge. I think they have like 800 yards of cotton on them. Okay, here we've got... Ugh, this was awful. Poly Soft. Use for sweaters, afghans, and babies. Oh, this had to be like 60s or 70s yarn. 49 cents. 
Anybody know where this yarn is from? Let me know down below. Oh, there was... Okay, this was soft. This is very um, Karen Simply Soft. Ask Bernat Satin. Now, I've never seen this before, but the colors were very, like, Victorian to me. It's very soft. I just kind of wish it had been in different colors. I wasn't feeling it. And Skyla was like, I don't like that. She was with me, so. And you see that one was $1.99. There is a butt ton of sugar and cream in here for $0.99. Cents. Um... But I have a bunch of cotton behind me, so I don't I don't really need the small balls like this. I was very happy to find that bigger Burnett Handicrafter. Hey, um, keep a lookout tomorrow. I will be showing you my thrift store yarn haul, which I think I got some good stuff. Real good stuff. This is some nice pastels. If I am talking too fast, you can hit that gear in the top right-hand corner and slow me down. Um... Micro Spun by Lion Brand Yarn. This was odd. It was soft, but the ply was really weird. I didn't love it. Oh, here's some of that ribbon yarn. Uh, this was interesting. Yarnandsocks.com Snow Blossom. 100% super wash wool. Factory direct from China. Uh, there you go. I kind of wish there was a second ball of this, but no luck. A white scratchy something. And another one of those. So there is two of those. I'm sure somebody will enjoy those very nice. Uh, what else we got? Patent sock yarn in this nice brown color, but it was definitely like half a ball. No, wait, there's more. More baskets up top. I did kind of like the way that they organized this. I mean, as much as you can say organize. Oh, hello. Some more Bernat. Oh, no, sorry. This is sugar and cream. Confectionery colors. I don't know how old this is. 500, no, sorry. 608 yards. This super saver was scratchy, and somebody spilled, like, coffee on it. Oh. No, thank you. It seemed like most of the stuff in this basket was cotton. Okay, this is Bernat Gloucester. 100% cotton. 100 grams. Uh, made in the USA. And it is hand wash, towel dry, or dry clean. Anybody ever used this yarn before? Seem very interesting. Again, chain spun. A lot more sugar and cream. If you were into small balls of cotton, this was a good spot, considering how much cotton is nowadays. Orange. Oh, that's a nice red. Black. Quite a bit more coming here. Let's see what else do we have. This was interesting. Bernat Handicrafter Cotton Bernat Cares. Uh, it's different colors of pink and white. Looks like it's for breast cancer awareness. Made in Canada. Skyla didn't like it though. I put it back. This is that off-white with the dots in it. <clears throat> Potpourri ombre. Sure. Okay. Here's a Bernat Handicrafter cotton in pink. And this one is... Doo -doo -doo. Didn't show that. Like 800 yards, I think. Another Bernat Gloucester in this purple. Interesting. What else have we got back here? Blue, cotton yarn. I definitely, when I'm in the area, I'm going to have to go and stop at this Salvation Army because this is quite the selection of yarn here. And at the end of this video, there's going to be a really short video because there was a lady in the dressing room who must have gotten here like 10 minutes before me and she had a lot of yarn in her cart. 
TLC Cotton Plus. Anybody ever heard of this before? It's got a kitty cat on the label. Uh, medium rose, 51 cotton, 49 acrylic. Here's some more of that Gloucester yarn in a pinky color. The greens with the white. I think this is the sugar and cream. Yep. That was a pretty big size. I feel like it's bigger than some of the other ones. Hmm. Also, we got blues. Very pretty. And all these smaller balls of cotton were 99 cents, which again is a great deal <clears throat> for the full balls, given the price of cotton nowadays. Anybody know how old this Burnett Gloucester is? Gloucester, sorry. This was not nice. Comfort 12 Knitting Worsted Weight by Jack Frost. Have you ever heard of Jack Frost yarns before? The picture tells me like 80s. It's not fun. Oh, it's DuPont Orlon Acrylic. Oof. Definitely reads 80s to me. Okay, some of the stuff in here was super interesting. Sugar and Cream 3-ply Lightweight Baby Yarn. When is this from? 70s, 80s? Not sure. And the color Canary. There was some white yarn in here. That looks like a wool roving, but it was not a full skein. Some crochet thread. That looks like it's it's a wrap, but I don't know if that's made in white. That's pretty, but not a full ball. This looks like some fancy smancy, maybe Barocco yarn. And we've got another Baby Soft. So it was like four skeins of Baby Soft. And Red Heart 100% Cotton Sport Yarn. Hmm. Interesting. The color soft yellow. And then there was three more of this yellow baby yarn. Hmm. Maybe I should have gotten the baby yarn. What do you guys think? Which thing on here would you grab and which are you like, oh, I'm going to leave that behind. This was a nice crochet blanket with no price on it. It looks like it's from the person that donated that homespun, though. <laughs> and then they had a bookcase over here. This is the best thing in that bookcase by far. Another Patton, Patton's Croy sock yarn in these nice garden colors. But again, I don't believe that was a full skein. Hey, I want to thank you for joining me on this shop with me. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can be affordably crafty too. I do have the join button active down below. And here's the random shopping cart. Okay, lots of... She definitely attacked the cotton yarn. Have a creative day, everyone. Happy bargain hunting. Bye-bye.